Hey guys, Jason here, and today I'm assembling my latest music vocals plugin chain in Cakewalk. Cakewalk is a free DAW, and it's been about time that I replace my Audacity tutorials with Cakewalk ones. And today I'm showcasing the effects I use as defaults on every new song I make. Before we get started, just want to remind y'all of my most recent tech content, just in case you missed it. Is the iPhone 8 still worth it in 2021? Trying $20 fake AirPods, my Nest Mini review, and my most recent best phone at $100 feature. Feel free to pop onto one of those, pop one of those into your queue after you watch this video. But without any further ado, let's get into things. So Cakewalk is non-destructive as are all self-respecting DAWs. And that does mean the sample audio track here will remain unaltered as we stack effects onto it. These particular vocals are taken from my song Tussles that'll probably be the opening track on my upcoming album. Also, this isn't a intro to Cakewalk video or talking about the interface or anything like that. Might do that at some point in the future. Honestly, don't know it well enough to explain myself right now. Uh, but just for now, know the main emphasis here is putting together this plugin chain. So there's the Tussles vocal track with no effects. And then below that, there's a vocal less track with effects. And what I'm gonna do is pull these plugins over to the example audio track one by one explain what they do, why I chose the particular settings, and then let y'all listen to the audio step by step as we go. So first things first, let's listen to the raw vocals by themselves with no plugins applied. Yeah, anger the top of the tussles, my voice crispy as ruffles, head parlance, I don't like puzzles, yeah, made me alive at his luscious, patiently cannot be rushing, friends of the foes can be muddled, belly rest no turn no tussles. Now, diving into actually doing things, there's first Sonatus Gate, a pretty solid plugin that comes with Cakewalk that cuts out the audio once the volume drops below a certain point. That's basically the definition of a gate, regardless of whether it's Sonatus Gate or a different third party one, cuts off the audio once it falls below a certain point in between your words. Uh, I have it off here because in this particular scenario, I thought the breaths kind of helped add momentum. This is the hook of the song, but if I did want to use it, I just tweak that threshold till the sounds in between my words were being removed and the actual words were unaltered. Here's a sample of that would sound like. Yeah, anger the top of the tussles, my voice crispy as ruffles, head parlance, sound like puzzles, yeah, made me alive at his luscious, patiently cannot be rushing, friends of the foes can be muddled, belly rest no turn no tussles. Next we're adding autotune, the famously misunderstood pitch correction plugin. Here I match the key to the song and the retune speed to the effect that I wanted to align my notes to the instrumental for Tussles. I get asked a ton about where to buy autotune or which autotune I use, and for Cakewalk, I would recommend getting autotune access, which is the cheapest version you can get from Antares for 99 bucks with a 14 day free trial of the full suite. Please don't think this is the key to perfect songs though. From the comments I get, you'd think autotune is a silver bullet, one click make perfect audio button. It's not. But let's hear these vocals with that auto-tune. Yeah, anger the top of the tussles, my voice crispy as ruffles, head parlance, I don't like puzzles, yeah, made me alive at his luscious, patiently cannot be rushing, friends of the foes can be muddled, belly rest no turn no tussles. Next, using TDR Nova, I got a subtractive EQ, or my attempt at a subtractive EQ. This is for removing unwanted frequencies from the vocals, really trying to get rid of the nasty stuff before you pull out the frequencies you want, I got a high pass filter here at 80 hertz to cut out unnecessary low end, put in a slight cut around 700 hertz, and then two more bigger, more substantial cuts at 3.5, uh, and then 10 kilohertz. And these last two are really to try to battle sibilants, sibilants being harsh s and sh sounds. And that's an art I've definitely not perfected, but those two cuts definitely help. DSing, again, not my strength by any means, and I'm doing a lot of research to try to improve my technique. But for now, let's hear what we got after this EQ. Yeah, anger the top of the tussles, my voice crispy as ruffles, head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me alive at his luscious, patiently cannot be rushing, friends of the foes can be muddled, belly rest no turn no tussles. Yet another instance of TDR Nova right after that one. This one's more so additive and designed to bring out the parts of the voice we want highlighted in the final mix. The main features here are a boost to the vowels range of 500 Hz and a high shelf at 2500 Hz. This also cuts the 300 and 700. Typically you don't mix like subtractive and additive EQs, but I'm definitely not a professional by any means. So 
uh, just kind of mix those in here. And those are generally recommended frequencies to bring down. Let's hear this EQ on the vocals. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussles. Next, I have TDR Slick EQ, acting only as another high shelf to bring in even more high end crisp. Definitely could have just raised the high shelf on the last EQ to get the same effect, but splitting it between two plugins just for me makes things easier to tweak, makes it more manageable. So, this is how I'm keeping things for now. Let's hear that effect. Yeah. Anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah. Made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussles. The next plugin is the Era 5 DSer from the Era 5 plugin suite that was actually given to me. Very grateful for this by the developers. Uh, this is a played, paid, paid plugin pack. Very much grateful to have this guy on the chain to yet again help me try to battle those harsh S sounds. My settings are based on the male vocals preset with the processing turned down just a tad and the shaping at default. Really just makes things more bearable to listen to. And here's the vocals with those S's toned down just a touch more. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turn, no tussles. TDR Ketonikov is brought into the chain next, a free compressor plugin. And compressors are kind of distant cousin, twice removed from the noise gate, except instead of cutting out audio below a certain volume, it brings down the audio above a certain volume. The volume is the threshold, which I have set here to match where my audio was hitting after the previous effects. And the rest of the settings are really just where I leave things for any song, giving me a pretty standard amount of compression. Let's hear that effect. Yeah. Anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah. Made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussles. VX64 is a super useful vocal strip plugin built into Cakewalk with extra steps. God knows why it's hidden by default. I'm gonna probably drop a form down below with instructions on how to enable it. Uh, but once it's working for you, honestly, works wonders for a mix. Here I'm using the deesser, tube equalizer, and delay functions, plus a tiny bit of saturation on the out end. Uh, and no need to cover the deesser. You definitely know what that means by this point, what we're trying to accomplish with that. The tube EQ settings, I literally just copied from some random YouTube mixing guide a while back and kind of just never changed them. Uh, and the delay is probably the most important thing here. Think of it as like an echo, but with one repeat as opposed to multiple that get quieter and quieter. Mine here is set to match the tempo of the song, very important musically, and it gives us a sense of thickness and and not just like one layer to the vocals. Let's hear all those effects that VX64 has granted us. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussles. Approaching last but not least, there is Fresh Air, the Exciter plugin synonymous with that crispy modern sound. This is kind of a far more respected version of that crummy UI Shock plugin I used back in the day. Here is to add some high mid presence or high end sparkle to our mix. Uh, added a touch of both for tussles, and let's just hear the effect that that had. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head parlance, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussles. Last but not least, I popped Loudmax onto the very end of our vocal chain as kind of a beginner move just to squash any super high peaks that sneak through all the other plugins. Loudmax is a limiter. Limiters are essentially compressors that compress instantly to a certain level, as opposed to letting you pick a ratio and a speed that the volume is reduced by. First slider is how loud the peaks have to be to get squashed. The second slider is how loud the entire audio will be brought back up to based on the loudness of the new peaks. Honestly, highly doubt you could hear the effect this one had as it's more of a just in case kind of effect. So really let's just move on to the more rewarding reverbs. I have two reverbs here, room and large reverb using Tau Reverb versions 4 and 2 respectively. 
And the first is intended to add realistic reverb similar to that of an actual recording space, and the second is just for effect. Take a look at these settings here if you wish, and let's just hear first the realistic room reverb, then the one that's bigger and for effect. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head problems, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussing. Yeah, anger that's time for the tussles. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Head problems, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, made me a life that is luscious. Patiently cannot be rushing. Friends of the foes can be muddled. Belly rest, no turning, no tussing. So that's the plugin chain that's taken our plain raw vocals from sounding like this to sounding like this. Yeah, uh, ain't got the time for the tussles. Yes. My voice, crispy as ruffles. Yeah, have problems, I don't like puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Made me a life that is luscious. luscious. Patiently cannot be rushed. Uh, Friends of the foes can be muddled. Nah. Belly rest, no turning, no tussle. Uh, no promo, no rise. No. But the show ain't got money like mine. Uh, Fully muddled my past and crime. crime. My watch, the time is mine. Yeah, getting tired of I try. I try. Girls say my lips, they fly. Uh, hope go mad, I cry. Yeah. Pink tones and mascot lines. Yeah. Getting closer to a mainstream industry sound. I ain't saying I'm there yet, uh, but I'm trying, getting closer, learning every day, and I wish you the best of luck with that as well. Let me know what audio tech or regular tech content you want to see in the future, and I'll see you later.